So let's take a look at the markets. Uh, so we, we had a nice sell-off yesterday into the close. And actually, after the close, remember, we want to go, uh, we want to look at these uh, zone breakdowns or breakouts into an imbalanced market. So the market really broke market profile. I sent some charts out to you guys earlier this week that when you get into an imbalance market such as this, when you have no support below you, you know, the market tends to feed upon itself and you have a lot of these um, sell stops start hitting because you have all of this area that has no support level because you're below market profile. And that's what happened yesterday. We got through market profile, you can tell here, we became very imbalanced. So this is what you look for when you're looking for a zone break. So we have three market profile levels that fire off on a daily basis on your charts. And this is all the trading participants in the market. So here's yesterday's profile. And what you want to do is you want to look for these zone breaks when these yellow entry bars come up when you're getting through these profile levels. Now what I'm going to show you tomorrow is on a strategy how you can use even longer longer Rinkos where you can let it run around the clock to try to get these moves. So we're going to go over that on market replay tomorrow. Um, we'll show you the software how you can use it on your um, on your own ninja trying to catch these moves so when you get through you, your the market is balanced when we're between HVA and low value area now these are two to four hour profiles they're not 30 minute profiles that's why they're so accurate so this is a balanced market so when you're balanced the market tends to chop in between what's high value and low value area so these are all the trading participants in the market, all the algorithms, hedge funds, prop firms, etc. So that's a balanced market where you're in between high value area, which is the big red thick line, that's volume profile. And when you're between low value area, which is the big green thick line, that is uh, or volume profile also. Developing is this thin red line and thin green line so that's also market profile but your most important is a big red line and the big green line that is knowing you're in a balanced market but when you get below market profile as it did yesterday you become into an imbalanced market and you get moves like this that's when the market becomes imbalanced and then you have all this order flow from all these wrongly positioned traders, whether it be algorithms, different hedge banks, whatever it is, they tend to drive the market in that direction because the market becomes imbalanced. And you'll look at this on a daily basis. So this is your roadmap for the day to dictate where you're possibly going to have a big run in the market. On a daily basis where can the big run happen in the market it's going to happen when you become imbalanced so what we want to do is we want to try to find out where the imbalance is to find out where these zone breaks can run so you go from balance to imbalance hey good morning Derek so that's a balanced market when you're in between low value and high value area. Now this has worked for 39 years where it can call the balance of the market to an imbalanced market. It doesn't matter what market you look at. This is all the trading participants in the market. This is not one or two players in the market. These levels are all the participants because this blue line is the point of control or the average of the most volume that's traded. It's the most volume is traded in this session, and that derives these HV and LVA levels. So when you become imbalanced, you tend to get runs in the market, 
and that's when you look for this. You look for these zone breaks. Here's where it broke yesterday. We sent out charts early this week on Wednesday and had beautiful setups like this. So your low value area was sitting 82 and three quarters. So you can even put these on your charts, overlap them for the, uh, the session like this to know where the break's going to happen. That's exactly what happened Wednesday on this, that big run, uh, two big runs we had. You can put them over top when they become static. So this is where the imbalance is. You got a big imbalance, but if you see a break of market profile, then if it comes down, gets rejected, and then finally pulls in at this level, that lets you know that this is a high probability move that you're going into a possible big run in the market because you'll have all these buy stops that get hit. These pauses in the market right here are counter trend traders, countering the overall move in an imbalance market. That's what you want to prey on, and you want to try to get into that move again, and you try to get into a sustained push because the market's imbalanced. Now, this is our largest Renko we have that we show in the room is the 120.20. What you can do from this point when you first break at 1605, you do have a smaller Renko size over here that allows you to look at additional trades in the market that fire off. If you notice, you have additional trades, one, two, three, four, five trades versus a couple on the longer Renko size. So it allows you to find additional trades in the market if you're taking smaller Renko trades like this, we want to make sure the market is in an imbalanced market and we're in a nice sustained run as far as below low value area. So a lot of what a lot of traders do is they'll put the low value area right on top of charts. We'll look at today's area. We'll put them right on top of the charts for you this morning. I want you to look for these breaks when these levels hit. These levels hit at this level. So what the charts will help you with the strategy, Terrence, which I'll go over tomorrow, what it will do if you use longer Renko sides is to find these breaks. If Let's say you want to use a strategy by itself and you want to look for just strategy uh, entries you can use a longer Renko size where it likes to find this sweet spot area in the market like this, where it's getting out of side of market profile. So outside of market profile, when it, when it pushes outside of that level. So this morning, as we're looking now, and we'll sh I'll show you that tomorrow. No, they, they, they're, they're the same. So if you're pushing down, if you are, when you break this low value area, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that push. You're looking for that push into an imbalanced market. So we'll go over that tomorrow. Because right now on the strategy, what you can do with the strategy you have, if you break through low value or high value, you can turn on your strategy. Yeah, it'll be recorded tomorrow. You can turn on your strategy, the current strategy you have, you can turn on your strategy and let the strategy fire you in on these setups if you're breaking through low value, high value. I want to show you a way also how you can use it on longer Renko sizes to fire in these trades that can be ran around the clock. Okay, so let's take what you want to do on profile is you want to look at the previous couple days profile. So because they act as support and resistance. So this market is getting above high value area here. So let's take a look at the level. The high value is 66 and a half that we're breaking through right now. So this is 66 and a half. Market profile at that level. 
So what the markets can do then is they like to go from one profile level to the other profile level, breaking inside and outside. So this would be a legitimate level to play off of for today's trading. So there's the gap in the market that the market will try to gravitate to when it gets through profile levels. It likes to go from profile to profile. Just like here, it'll go from profile. When I marked the charts up for you on Wednesday, what it did, it broke. It went from profile to profile. These are what's called gaps in the market. So what we'll do, as long as these stay static and don't move, they move, you have to adjust them on your chart. But 52.60 will be your control point level for the day. And then the low value area break will be 52.58 and a quarter. These would be levels of play off of. 52, 56 and a half, sorry. 52, 56 and a half, that's a level to play off of. This is a level to play off of. We'll, those are levels that we'll want to look for zone breaks. When they happen, there's your zone breaks. As far as that goes, one second, let me. Zone breaks. We do have the failure trade that can come in. That's if we break back inside a profile, what we'll watch for. That happened Wednesday also at the low. So we'll see if that can happen at, at, uh, at these levels when they finally break, break through. So there's your overhead gaps in the market that we're going to look for some setups this morning. You know, we're breaking through profile. We went from a balanced to an imbalanced market. Now profile, it will adjust until it becomes static. So right now, 70 and three quarters, see it just adjusted. It will adjust and then become static. Once it becomes static and stops moving, that's when you can adjust it. 70 and three quarters. That's 62 because the control is getting bought. So 62, so control moved up. That's why it adjusted. Once it becomes static, those are levels to play off of. 58 and a quarter. And there's your quarter. So what you do is, is if you want to just look for a breakout of this level to the next profile, you want to see these levels break with a zone break entry as these levels get adjusted. So I'll leave these levels on here this morning. That's what we'll look for. And we'll look, see if we can see if we can get uh, another move. Um, once this market starts waking up here, 836, we'll see if we can get some zone breaks that correlate with the market profile.